In this video, Matt Dexter, Product Specialist at PS Analytical, talks about gas phase concentration units. One subject that tends to cause quite a lot of confusion is um, gas phase concentration units, particularly for things like mercury. So um, when we're looking at mercury gas phase concentrations, a wide range of different units are commonly encountered from picograms per litre, nanograms per litre, micrograms per cubic metre, nan nanograms per cubic metre, um, PPB and PPM. Unfortunately, all of these units are ambiguous without further information. So the first piece of information that we need is for um, mass volume units, we need to specify the temperature and pressure. Um, there are a wide range of different bases that are in operation. Um, the correct basis can depend on um, contract requirements, or on the standard that's being followed. Two of the most commonly encountered bases are normal conditions of zero degrees C in one atmosphere and standard conditions of 20 degrees C in one atmosphere. However, the definition of normal and standard also changes quite a lot, so it is important to make sure you specify the temperature and pressure as well as just saying normal or standard. There's roughly a 7% difference between these normal and standard conditions. Whilst 7% is not a huge amount when you're specifying a system or setting a system up, it can make a significant difference with the actual results. It can mean the difference between compliance and non-compliance. If we move over to look at PPM and PPB, um, there's a thousand-fold difference between the two. I'm going to concentrate on PPB for the rest of this presentation just to make life a little simpler. The differences between the different bases of PPB can be much larger than 7%. And the measurement basis is the most important thing here. You could use mass mass, mass volume, or volume volume. There's, um, the way that the basis is shown for PPB is quite variable. So mass mass units can be shown with either an M for mass or a W for weight. Um, and they can be shown in any of the different ways shown on the screen. Volume volume is easier as there's only a V for volume, but again there's more than one way of showing it. Mass volume is easier as there's only really one way to show it, or that could also be shown as um, weight volume. If we compare PPB units uh, on different bases, you can get some quite large differences. So if we so if you calculate one PPB of mercury and nitrogen, you could end up with any of 1,000, 8.3, or 1.2 micrograms per cubic meter depending on the basis of the measurement. And for those three numbers, we end up with the 1,000 micrograms per cubic meter is 1 ppb on a mass volume basis, 8.3 micrograms per cubic meter is 1 ppb volume, and 1.2 micrograms per cubic meter is 1 ppb mass. It's important to note that um, mass volume units depend on the measurement conditions, so the temperature and pressure, and mass mass units depend on the matrix. Now, if we look at mass volume units in a little bit more detail, these are probably the most frequently used units for mercury concentrations, which is unlike other gases. Most commonly encountered units are micrograms per cubic meter or nanograms per cubic meter. The equivalence of these is shown on the screen. One nanogram per cubic meter is equivalent to one picogram per liter. One microgram per cubic meter is equivalent to one nanogram per liter which is equivalent to 1,000 nanograms per cubic meter. PPB mass volume and PPM mass volume are relatively uncommon. PPM mass volume is rarely encountered. This is possibly due to the difficulty defining this dimensionless unit for a gas. It's easiest to think of by starting with aqueous solutions. So for a dilute aqueous solution, where the density is approximately one gram per milliliter, we can say that one nanogram per mil is approximately the same as one nanogram per gram. If we take one nanogram per gram and cancel out the units, we end up with one in a billion, or one part per billion, one ppb, on a mass-mass basis. And um, by extension, as we've said, one nanogram per mil and one nanogram per gram are approximately the same thing. We can say that one mil is the equivalent part to one gram, so one nanogram per mil is equivalent to 1 ppb mass volume. And this definition of um, 1 ppb mass volume has been extended from aqueous solutions into a um, wide range of other solutions, even though the densities don't, don't match, so you don't end up with the approximation between ppb 
mass and PPB mass volume. If we move into the gas phase and bring with us that concept of one milliliter is considered the equivalent part to one gram, then we can take our one PPB mass volume, express it as one nanogram per milliliter, convert it into the units we want for our equivalents, and end up with one PPB mass volume is 1,000 micrograms per cubic meter. And to get this unambiguous, we'd also need to state the volume basis. So for all of the conversions here, we're using standard conditions of one atmosphere and 20 degrees C. Moving on to parts per billion on a volume basis, this is conceptually more straightforward. If we're converting PPB volume into micrograms per cubic meter, the first thing we need to do is press the PPB volume unit in, um, in some other units. So we can say one PPB volume is the same as one millimeter cubed per meter cubed. Um, we can then use the ideal gas law to work out what amount of gas is present in um, one cubic millimeter of gas. And that's shown on the screen. We can then use the relative atomic mass of mercury and that amount to work out what mass of mercury is present in the one cubic millimeter. And that comes out as um, 8.3 micrograms per cubic meter. Uh, as that's per meter, we don't need to do any more maths. We just get one part per billion volume is the same as 8.3 micrograms per cubic meter. Again, that's on a standard basis. Uh, moving on to look at PPB mass. This depends on the sample matrix as we have mass on the bottom of the expression. Um, so one part per billion on a mass basis is the same as one nanogram per gram. What we so the first question we have to answer is what amount of gas is in one gram? This depends on the relative molecular mass of the gas. So for nitrogen, that's 28.01. For a mixture, it would be the average relative molecular mass for the mixture. So we can work out the amount from that. The amount of nitrogen in one gram is 0.0357 moles. So the next question to ask is what volume does that amount occupy? Here we again use the ideal gas law and we're again using standard conditions and we end up with 8.6 times 10 to the minus 4 cubic meters. But then bring those the two parts of the expression back together again. We said 1 ppb was 1 nanogram per gram. So that's the same as one nanogram per 0.86 liters, which simplifies down to one PPB mass is 1.164 micrograms per meter cubed for nitrogen at standard conditions. And for other gases, that would be different. That would be different. To summarize, similar sounding units can represent very different concentrations. So it's important to specify the temperature and pressure basis for um, mass volume units and it's important for PPB or PPM units to specify the basis of the measurement, mass mass, mass volume or volume volume, as well as the temperature and pressure conditions for the mass volume units.